Hello, I've got another devlog for you. Um, this one unfortunately took a bit because most of it I wasn't even able to work on it because I was dealing with issues with Visual Studio being slow, I have to clear it up and then the build exploded and everything was super slow and my PC was struggling and I like literally spent like at least an hour, maybe two hours just dealing with issues with the system and not like the actual code which is like super annoying and then the code issue itself was very annoying and i'll get into why in a little bit but first i can show you um th what works so if i just open this um i got clipboard to work uh which i which is actually interesting because um one thing that I think a lot of people don't realize, but let me just show you. So I'm going to copy this, paste this, this works. I can copy you know, a random number here, paste this here, this works. Paste this here, paste this here, this works. Uh, of course, that's not another, another thing, but I can just paste it here. Clipboard works. Uh, I can do like this. So I can you know, take a screenshot, paste this. This works. Uh, and I can also be copy image. And then if I do uh, inspaint, I'm gonna go here and this works. So I can, you know, copy and paste images. And last thing, uh, I can copy files. So if I copy file and this one's um, representing my state working on the clipboard, <laughs> this works too. <laughs> and this is me trying to work on things today and trying to work on the clipboard. So it works. Uh, the main issue is, uh, actually let me back up a little bit. So the way clipboard worked previously uh, with Unity, we, in Unity, like you cannot actually access the clipboard APIs. They just, they don't work. Like it, it just doesn't work. So what I had to do like a while back, uh, Fruits Engine actually used an IPC mechanism. It was just a TCP and it had a small process called like System Helper, which would uh, be Net Framework application, which would do the actual clipboard operations and it would send the data over TCP. And that's how clipboard worked. And most of the time it worked fine. Um, sometimes it kind of caused issues, but it also added complexity because in order to it has to start another process to like you know, do its stuff. So technically, even before the splitting, we are actually using a little bit of an IPC. It wasn't a big one, it was just mostly the clipboard. Now that like the main process, the one that's actually controlling all of this, is a native, um, it's a native like Net9 process, uh, we can use the modern libraries. And this is actually using the Windows uh, Presentation Foundation clipboard API. Uh, which works it as like a nice little API. The problem is, um, I'm actually gonna find the post. The problem is um, that it's not as reliable as it should be. And I would literally even test this with this little piece of code once it pops up. Oh, is there a bug? There might be a bug. I might need to add another image format. Okay, that didn't work. I'll have to fix that. Uh, it's probably just a texture format that I haven't accounted for. Uh, let me do this. I'm just gonna screenshot it this way. Pop this ship up. There we go. Um, now there might be an image format I need to account for. But this simple thing, clipboard set text, this would just keep failing most of the times. Uh, it straight up wouldn't work. Uh, and it would fail because apparently the clipboard is like, you know, like you need to kind of access the clipboard, like you need to open it, and if somebody else is accessing it, like they will just fail. Um, so, I couldn't get any of the workarounds like working reliably, and instead I end up like using a library called text copy. So if I actually look at the source code for um, setting the text to clipboard, instead of using the clipboard, the Windows Foundation API, we use the text copy, because this actually is way more reliable for some reason. Like their implementation is better than this one. And this makes it work pretty well, but it was kind of pain to like get it to set up because, and in part because the Visual Studio was having issues. Like I literally 
started by just wanting to add a NuGet package to the project so I can use this library and Visual Studio would just keep dying. So I would clear it out and then like it wouldn't want to compile and everything would be slow and it would be freezing and it was painful. Uh, but now, you know, it's there. This works. Um, the problem is this library, while it's also multi-platform, so this will technically work on Linux and macOS, it only does text. But we also need to, you know, set bitmaps, we need to set, uh, and we need to get files when we import files. And this library does not support that. So for those, we are still using, you know, the, uh, the Windows, like, API. Which seems to actually work reliably, like, the copying images seems to be much more reliable than copying text, which is funky but that's what it is but um hopefully we might be able to get like a multi-platform library for clipboard that does support text and files because that would help us a lot um so if anybody in the community like especially linux people if you're interested in contributing this might be like one of the areas to contribute making nice api for working with uh, uh images and files at least on Windows and Linux with this library or maybe even like making one from scratch that would help us a lot but uh, it is what it is right now um, is working the way it was working before so I think I'm gonna leave it at this for now so thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll have more updates soon